Kim, good morning. You know, these days there are a lot of schools trying to be more environmentally conscious, but Kinston schools are going above and beyond with the first hybrid school bus in the entire state and a wind turbine project sure to pay off. Their colors may be blue and white, but Kinston High School is definitely going green, starting with the first hybrid school bus in all of Ohio. It's very effective for uh, neighborhoods where there's many pickups, where the battery technology kicks in. Detectable only by its hybrid grill and small markings on the side, this bus will transport students with 65% better fuel efficiency. But the Kinston campus has found another way to blow away the competition. How about this new wind turbine? that'll save the high school $100,000 in electricity every year. These are pictures from the turbine's delivery. The superintendent is hoping seeing its construction will spark a little more than electricity. We're expecting we're going to have generations of kids going out and start pursuing majors and interests in renewable energy. The whole world is going going green. It's, it's the wave of the future. And the future's now. Just ask Brian Scheider. His alternative energies class has a waiting list and there's a lot to learn. Windmills and solar panels and geothermal, hydrogen power, basically anything literally under the sun. Except paper. Scheider uses a smart board, a paperless system with PowerPoint, dry erase, and email capabilities. I'm a self-proclaimed eco-freak. I have a solar-powered watch, a battery-operated lawnmower, hybrid car. And on this campus, going green is contagious. I'm changing the world one person at a time. So every, every kid, is, if I can reach a few of the 30 that I've gotten here, then they can go out and spread it to a few more and a few more and a few more, and, and off it goes. And Mr. Scheider's class really is on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, the school is on the list to receive never-before-used green computer technology shipping all the way from Germany. Marielle Lu, News Channel 5.